Before I start this review of Linux Lite, I will mention that they support me through Patreon, and you can see their name on the outro credits of my videos. However, I have always thought their distribution was really good. In fact, I gave it third place on my top three Linux distributions of 2016. Linux Lite version 3.4 is based on Ubuntu 16.04 long-term support release and comes with the XFC desktop. It strikes a rare balance of being suitable for new users and more experienced users. For example, it has a wide range of utilities pre-installed, but only a smaller number of applications. Literally, we have LibreOffice, VLC, Firefox, GIMP, and a few other smaller applications, which I'm not going to go through right now. I want to focus more on utilities. This version of Linux Lite 3.4 has seen improvements to the Lite tweaks. This is a wide range of tweaks you can actually make to your system. Some of these you won't have seen in any other Linux distribution. For example, clear memory. Free up RAM on your system. Potentially very useful for anyone with an older, lightweight system. I meant to check how much memory was in use before and after running that application then. Oh well. Let's take a look at it, what it is afterwards with Task Manager. Actually, there's another view, isn't there? There's HTOP on the system, which will give us a more detailed view. So resource usage. Memory, 439 meg out of 8 gig. Pretty lightweight. Looking at some of the other features we have. Cache cleanup. Kernel removal. Removal of hibernate and suspend buttons. I've played with that already and taken out the hibernate, so I've just got one suspend button at the bottom of the screen there. The option to locate large files. Clearing out log archives. Enable or disable users' ability of saving their session on logout. More package cleanups. The option to turn off preloading of applications. And perhaps this last option, ZRAM, is another unique feature. Compressed RAM-based block device for faster input-output. So it avoids paging to the hard drive and reduces the number of read-writes. Instead, it utilises a compressed block in the RAM. So let's go through a couple of them. So when you click begin, it goes through sequentially on the options which you have ticked. So ZRAM is not enabled on your system. Would you like to enable it? Yes, why not? Probably a bit unnecessary on this system, but I'm just showing the feature working. In fact, we won't see the feature working, will we? No. I'm showing the feature being run on the system, so. ZRAM service is always started on boot up. So you can always go back and easily disable the feature if you're not happy with it. The welcome screen is very nice for new users and it is clear and to the point. Start here. I can't disagree with that and it's highlighted as well. So install update, drivers, set a restore point and install language support. So looking at setting a restore point and it will literally create a restore point of your system and store it in a home folder. I'm not sure about the different styles on the application but that is about my only criticism of it. The fact that this one application has a different style to it. That is fairly minor in the big scheme of things. So there are also links to online support, the help manual, forums, the hardware database, and a few links to contributing, code, donations, the shop, or social media. The hardware database is a unique feature. And the Linux Lite team have provided a hardware database with over 6,000 hardware configurations uploaded to date. So the hardware database will give people an idea of whether a particular item of hardware will work in Linux Lite. Let's search for NVIDIA. What have we got? 1,214 computer configurations with the keywords NVIDIA. What's this one got? A GeForce 6100. Yeah, basic and old. And we even have an idea of which drivers were actually in use. So the Novu free open source drivers in this case. And the same for the next one as well. Well, actually the Mesa drivers, which contain the Novu drivers. Useful feature. I know it doesn't have every single hardware combination, but it's a good start. So for installing new software, Linux Lite have a custom software center. So you can install or remove software. So yes, I would like to install. So it's just a very simplistic installer for common applications. And I like some of the wording here. It's very simple to the point, very useful for new users. So torrent software. Okay, very nice. I would like some torrent software. Oh, but actually I would like to know what it is. Oh, it's Deluge. Or maybe I'm just not interested and I want some torrent software, in which case I don't need to read the further description. 
After installing an application, it gets removed from the list. In fact, it gets removed from the install software list and moves over to the remove software list. There you are, the restricted extras now appears over here. If you are a more experienced user or you would like to see what else you can install in Linux Lite, you can open up the Synaptic Package Manager. So they have included Synaptic on here, so yeah, you can install, well, basically anything from this list. All of the 54,800 plus packages that are listed. So keeping a with a look at the system menu, under the login settings, it has a drop down to enable or disable auto login. That's a nice feature. We can share the hardware configuration with the community. And that's probably about it for notable utilities on the system. Looking for the rest of the applications, I like the wording here under Office. It's very simple for new users. We don't have open up, write, impress, or calc. We have new document, new presentation, or new spreadsheet. Very simple. Multimedia. We do have the name of one application here, VLC, but that name is probably more recognizable for someone using Windows. Internet, as I mentioned, we have Firefox for the web browser. Graphics, so we have GIMP. Accessories, well, that's just a basic assortment of accessories. Settings, well, that reminds me of one feature I nearly forgot about, the light update settings. So you can change the notification about when you receive updates for your system. These options are a bit limiting, but on the other hand, I can't really see a problem with the options provided here. Hourly, daily at seven o'clock, every 12 hours, midnight or midday, every six hours, you know. Odds are you can probably choose one time period there when you're using the computer. And the notification will be either you have updates that are necessary or no updates are available. And if you don't want it, you can disable the feature. And that's it, I'm really impressed with Linux Lite. It's very fast, responsive. I like some of the changes that they've made to make it simpler for new users. I like the fact there's a lot of utilities in the system, but not too many applications. I feel like I could pick up this distribution and use it immediately without having to cut out excess fat from it. So there you are, that was a look at Linux Lite version 3.4. Thanks for watching, I'll see you all later. <laughs>